Do you like surprises? Threw a surprise party the other day. Surprise! No one showed up. It was my birthday party, and I don't have any friends. So no one showed up. So the only gift I got at the gift exchange was an unhealthy coping mechanism. Oh, thanks guys, you really shouldn't have. No, really. Speaking of gifts, my parents, the only gift they ever gave me was jeans. The jeans of an alcoholic, because if you can't tell, I'm Irish. And self-deprecating humor. That's okay though, because that's how a comedian goes on. We laugh at everything. That's why we have no friends. Because it's one thing to laugh at yourself when your own car takes a shit, but when your friend drives you 25 miles to work and their engine starts smoking, and then they start smoking after they're trying to quit, and you start laughing hysterically because you have an unhealthy coping mechanism, it's not so funny anymore when you gotta rock 25 miles home. But you know what? It gave me ammo. Something to laugh about. Now, unfortunately, no matter how much ammo you gave me, I lost my first dream job. That's why I'm doing stand-up comedy. You know what my first dream job was, right? I was an assassin. But no matter how much ammo you gave me, I couldn't hit a goddamn thing. And then, what was, made it even worse, the unhealthy coping mechanism. I started laughing. Well, after spending the last 20 years in prison, thankfully for attempted murder, not murder since I couldn't hit anything, I started thinking, you know, maybe I should try my hand at stand-up comedy. So I tried it on Facebook. Problem was, I had to sit down, otherwise it chopped my head off. And I thought, well, that's not giving comedy very much respect to sit down during a stand-up. I mean, for fuck's sake, it goes against the name of what you're doing. So, I decide, what the hell? You know what, though? There's one thing I can't stand. It's a beheading. And I could watch a gangbang of sheep, no problem, as long as the head stays on the goddamn thing when they're done with it. I don't care if you make it into pork chops, but don't chop its head off. You know what I mean? Now, uh, went on a drinking binge after, surprise, no one showed up for my birthday party. So I went on a drinking binge by myself. No surprise there, right? And uh, Alistair Crowley says, love is strong, but love under will. Love is strong. That doesn't mean love is good, because my piss was real strong smelling after I went on a drinking binge. I would not call that good. You know what's sad? Comedians have no friends, as I told you. So I invite the one friend I have on my Facebook special, right? Real special, because it was the one friend I had. And it must have felt bad for me. And you know, as a comedian, you're nervous. If no one shows up, bad. If like a lot of people showed up, you get nervous, right? So my one friend, they must have told other friends. It turns out they have 25 friends. And then I felt bad, not only because I'm nervous that there's 25 people, but I only have one friend, and my one friend has 25 friends. How come none of those people are my friends? So then I'm sitting here with 25 people to talk to, and I'm getting nervous. And if I stand up, they chop my head off, and I don't like beheadings. What do I do? I don't know. Thanks, you've been a lovely audience. You know why? Because I can't see how ugly you are, because I did this on a recording. That's the trick to comedy. Gotta laugh at yourself, folks.